Differential testing is a way of testing your code by using another program. So in this video, I'll show you an example of differential testing using Foundry. And what we're going to test is inside here, I copied and pasted an implementation of the exponential function in Solidity. The code that I copied from is from here, ABDK Consulting. And as you can see, if I scroll down, this exponential function is a really complex code. And what we want to test is to match this exponential function with another implementation that I'm more confident of. This is the exponential function implemented in Python. So what we're going to do is write some Foundry tests to test this exponential function, get the output, and then check the output with the output that is given from the Python code. Before we begin, let's take a look at what this Python code does. It takes in an input of x and then computes the exponential e to the x, and then it does some boundary checks. And the important part here is that it encodes it into a hexadecimal data that Foundry understands. And this is done by using the Python package called if abi. So first of all, let's run this program and get an idea of what this program does. For a debugging purpose, I'm going to uncomment this so that we'll be able to see the value of y is. And to run this program, what you'll have to do is I'll open my terminal. And first, I'll need to install the Python package pip install if underscore abi. Now, I already have this package installed, so that is why you're seeing these messages. And the next thing that we'll do is run the program. So I'll clear the logs, and then to run the program, to run the Python program, I'll run Python. The name of the program is exp.py, and for the input, we'll pass in some number. The number that we'll pass in is 2 to the 64. Why are we passing 2 to the 64? Well, this is because inside our exp.sol, 2 to the 64 is treated as 1. So what we expect when we run this Python program is that this number will be treated as 1. 2 to the 64 is treated as 1. So when we run this code, we should get a number that is equal to e to the 1, approximately equal to 2.718. So let's run the program. And you can see here, the first output returns a number 2.718, and the next line returns a number that is hex encoded. Okay, before we run this program using Foundry, we'll need to comment this code out because Foundry only expects one output. This will be the hex encoded value of y. Let's now write a differential test. Here I am importing the exponential function from exp.sol, and inside the test, what we're going to do is call the exp, passing in some input, and then we'll also call the Python program, get the output, and then compare it inside here. So what I mean by here is, we'll first call FFI exp. So what we're doing here is calling foreign function interface to call the exponential function that's implemented in Python, this file. We'll write the code for this later. So what we're going to do is say int 128, let's say y0 is equal to ffi exp of the input x. And next, we'll call this implementation code that's written in Solidity. You'll say int 128 y1 is equal to exp calling in the function with the same input x. And what we want to do is check that this y0 and y1 are close to each other. So let's check that. Let's check that the difference between y0 and y1 should be less than or equal to 1. Now 1 is represented as 2 to the 64. So we say uint 256 delta is equal to 2 to the 64. And to compare these two numbers, we'll use the function provided by Foundry, assert approximately equals abs. Exponential functions are always positive, so we'll cast these two numbers to uint. And that shouldn't be a problem. uint 256, int 256 of y0, and then also cast y1 to uint, uint 256, int 256 of y1. The difference between these two numbers should be less than or equal to this delta. So say delta. So this part of the code checks that y0 and y1 are less than or equal to 1, which is equal to 2 to the 64. 
We're almost done with this function. One last thing that I'll put is make sure that the input is not too large. This is because the Python program cannot handle large numbers. So here I'll say bm.assume. You'll assume that x is greater than or equal to 2 to the 64. And also assume bm.assume x is less than or equal to, let's say, 20 times 2 to the 64. And that completes our function that's going to test the exponential function written in Solidity against the exponential function in Python. So next, let's write the code that will call into the Python's exponential function. So in the previous video, I showed you how to call the foreign function interface. This is by calling bm.ffi and passing in some inputs. The inputs will be an array of strings. And when we call this function, it's going to return a bytes. Let's call it memory rest. What are the inputs going to be? Well, it's going to be a string bracket memory and I'll call it inputs. This inputs array will have length 3. So say new string bracket 3. The first element, inputs of 0, will be equal to Python. The next one will be equal to the name of the Python program, exp.py. And the last input will be the number that we're going to pass to the exponential function. And we need to encode this as string. So I'll say uint256 int 256x and then cast it to string dot to string that completes the inputs once we pass the inputs to bm.ffi we get a response back and the last step is to cast the response back into int 128 so to do that i'll type let's say int 128 y is equal to abi.decode decode the response into int 1, 2, 8, and then return this, return y. Okay, that completes the differential test. Let's now execute this test. So open my terminal, clear the logs. Now I want this test to end quickly, so I'll say foundry floods runs is equal to 100. This will mean that the foundry will fuzz this test 100 times. Foundry fuzz runs 100, and then forge test dash dash match path test differential test dot t dot soul and we also need to enable ffi dash dash ffi and then i'll also put dash bbb and then execute the test i waited about 20 seconds and the test passed so in this video i showed you an example of a differential test in foundry what we did was we tested a implementation of the exponential function in solidity against an exponential function written in python